Hello and welcome to Knitting at Tiffany's with Added Bling. This is episode 31. I'm Tiffany. I'm Erin. Thank you for returning if you're a return viewer. And, and Avery! <laughs> yep. That's Avery. And that's Avery in the back there. <laughs> and welcome if you're a new viewer. <laughs> we again have a special guest this week. <laughs> yeah. And can I just say, if you are a new viewer and last week's episode was your first episode and you're back, <laughs> It wasn't that bad. It, it was. It was less. She should be better this time. So she's pretty good. She's yeah. pretty good. Yeah. And this doesn't happen very often. No. We just, uh, as soon as okay. Yeah. Because normally she's not here at all. It's just yeah. we, over we the should. summer because my husband has soccer all the time. I can't exactly leave her at home. <laughs> <laughs> nope. So she has. <laughs> yeah. So it's just because we don't have a babysitter. Yeah. That's it. But that's okay. She's that's really good. Don't worry. Um. Yeah. So. Um, what are we starting with? We're, I think we're going to start with our Kit Kat corner. Ooh. We are almost through all the Kit Kats. Yes. And did you see Carolyn posted that she couldn't match us right now? No. She was well, stumped. Yeah. <laughs> well, and we're, we, we've gone through a lot of them. Like there's, only, there's only a few yeah, left. Like so, six left. So. Yeah, she's been helping with us. So yes. it's gone a little faster. Yes. Um, and again, because we introduced this several episodes ago. This was a challenge by Carolyn from The Next Beautiful Thing. Yes. And it's a Japanese Kit Kat sampler, so the flavors are all kind of weird. So we've been trying different ones. It hasn't been that bad, though. It hasn't been bad. I honestly. Except for that spicy one, Kit. They, they've all been tasty, though. <laughs> they have. Just they've that just spicy one was like, woo! They've that's been different. Yeah. And I kind of peeked through to see what's left. And, um. Cheater. What? <laughs> I, just, I was curious. And there's some that I was like, hmm. So um, I think we're going to get that going, okay. and then we'll go right into uh, everything else because we've got a little bit of everything today. Excellent. Avery, going to come so out? We'll start. Come on, Avery. Come pick your Kit Kat. Mix these up. Close your eyes. Pick one. Okay. Mom's going to pick one. And I'm going to pick one. Got one. Now, are you going to eat it or are you not going to eat it? Yes, I'm going to eat it. Trick me. or treat. Ooh, look at oh, mine's a pumpkin one. one. Pumpkin one. So with all the pumpkin spice craze going on. Oh yeah, you want to smell me? I'm wearing pumpkin, pumpkin cupcake. Do <laughs> I want to smell you? <laughs> smell. It smells so good. That's, That's good. pumpkin cupcake from Bath and Body Works. It's awesome. Want to smell? Oh my god, I'm in love with it. I'm telling you. Isn't that? See, I'm telling yeah. you, Avery, it's a great smell. It's a crazy great hair. smell. Pumpkin okay. cupcake. So she got the pumpkin yeah. one. What did Avery get? Oh, she got the one that I'm really curious about. What is that? Butter. Butter. Yeah, just butter. Just butter. So like if you're one of those people who like who would just eat butter, this is supposed to taste like that. Okay, well, okay. And, and I got then... I got the sake. Oh, the interesting. Sake. So it's gonna be like a little alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we did have that rum raisin one. That's right, we did. And that Ooh. was uh what? Smell. Can oh, smell? that's alcohol. Can I smell? <laughs> That is pure alcohol. Oh man, I opened it. Nice. Boom. Yo, it's nice. Oh, it's strong. <laughs> Very strong. Okay, here, I'll open hers. Oh, that is sake, all right. I don't know if I'll be giving you any with that one, honey. Butter. Butter's interesting. I'm like, See, I like the flavor of butter. Yeah, in like food or, you know. No, but like butter, not margarine. Or, butter. No, I eat yeah. butter. Yeah. I don't just take a stick and like chop down on it, but like I like the flavor of butter. So, I'm curious. Yeah. Does it smell like butter? I think so. Yeah, it's getting butter. Okay. Next time we do his challenge, we gotta not order it in summertime. <laughs> well, I don't know if we'll be doing this again because this takes up. That's I'm right. sure people have had enough of us eating our little chocolates in front of well, us. Well, I yeah. think I need a little bit. You need a little bit. We're, we're, we're gonna put worry. it on something, okay? So, which one do you want to try first? Do you want to try the one you picked? Yeah. Okay, here's butter. I'm gonna try the sake one. I'm trying. I know it's super <laughs> strong. And I'm trying I'm the pumpkin. Sorry. I'm gonna try that one first. It doesn't taste as strong as it smells. What did you get again? Pumpkin. That's oh, pumpkin. pumpkin. Oh, that's pumpkin. Yeah. I gave her the pumpkin. butter. Okay. Oh, that's fine. That's why she wanted that one. Try that. I'll try her sake. I smell. It doesn't taste bad though. Mmm. That's actually really good. Yeah. Mmm. -hmm. The sake one? See, the pumpkin one's okay, but I wouldn't like... I like pumpkin one. Okay, I'm going to steal butter with it. And then we're going to give her some, and hopefully she'll stay with it. <laughs> It's like butter. Actually, it tastes like creamy chocolate. Yeah, it does. I'm very disappointed in that one. I wanted butter. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted it. I wanted it to like imagine I was like, like chowing down on a stick of butter there. I have to say, pumpkin. I think the sake one is my favorite. Oh really? Yeah. I like it too, but I like the pumpkin. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Come here. 
We'll get her set up and then we'll go into the good stuff that you're all waiting lunch. for. I like we're having lunch. Kit Kat's for lunch. Oh, you like the pumpkin ones. That's because she wants to. Okay, Avery, come here. I'm stealing another one of these second ones. Okay, let's go to the... Alrighty. Yummy, yummy. It was yummy. I'm just deleting it. That's fine. She'll, she can finish the pumpkin one. Um, okay, so we're going to go right into... Diamonds are Girls Best Friends. Do you have anything? No. 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 After weeks and weeks and weeks. Okay. Well, no, it was um, last week we recorded. Well, so... Piggery that we've just been oh like... Oh my god, I've got way too much. We have way too much. She has nothing. I, I, have, I still have a yarn box coming. That will be like end of this month, though. Oh yeah, but that so, so that'll be like that's next a episode. subscription. That doesn't count. Oh, <laughs> true that. No, nope. so, I promised myself I wasn't buying anything else until we Woodstock. go to Woodstock. Yeah, I want to call it Woodstock or Woodstock. Uh, Woolstock. I always say Woolstock too, and I'm like, yeah. why isn't it called Woolstock? I don't know that's why. Like the perfect name. I know Woolstock is perfect. Yeah. I don't get it, but okay. So I have one thing. She's got a pretty thing. And this packaging always kills me. I love it. I think more people should package like that. I think that. more people should package it like this too because I'm more likely to order from her because the shipping is so reasonable because like look how fun this is. This is a skein of yarn from Baby Fiber Arts. That's awesome. And I had to leave it in there before I could open well, it. Well can I ask you a question? Yeah. So if you were to leave that in there yeah. and then let's say use it in like six months from now, does it, does it damage the yarn? I don't know. <laughs> because you know how people, well Laura from the Knit Girls tells you that you shouldn't keep your yarn in bags too long. Yeah. So what I do is I go through my yarn once in a while, I take it out of my bag, so I keep them in Ziplocs. I kind of fluff them around and play with them, and then I put them back in the bag. It's all because I keep them in Ziplocs. I know. But I have some yarn that came yeah. in, in, in bags like that, and I, I actually did it over that for a year. And did and you notice any difference? Yeah, it oh, was it like, um, it didn't have the bounce. It felt like it was, maybe it was because of the ply. It just felt like it was kind of, it should, it should, I don't know. It shouldn't have the bounce to a it. A little... This. That is so pretty. So oh, my colors. I don't know why you're ordering my colors for. I'm sorry. There we go. Are there you making go. something for me? Um, I could because I don't. What was this for? It's just because it was pretty. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and um, the other thing is that it was like a semi to uh, semi solid. Right. And a lot of the soft weight yarn that I have is variegated, and I thought this would be good. Oh, nice. To pair with stuff. That's true. Um, like especially stuff for Avery if I have something that has pinks in it. That's true. Yeah. I am the world's worst skeiner. So, oh no, it can't be worse than me. This is not a reflection of Actually, Paula's yarn. That's very, very nice. <laughs> no, it's you just saw the one I did earlier. It's all over the place. Okay. But yeah, Look how pretty go. that is. Isn't that pretty? I love it. So it's like pinks. It's all pinks. With and then it has a little bit of purple bit in there. Purple. Just that's a little bit. That's really nice. It's so pretty. And so you remember that one I got from her a while ago that was tickled pink with yes. pink and orange? Yes. I'm like, this could go with it. That could. That so could. That's, that was my, my reasoning. That's how I justified this to myself, is that it was a tonal. It's really and nice. it, I'd be able to mix it with things. That's perfect. And can I can I tell them about your little winnings? Sure. <laughs> so I won't tell the story. You can tell the story, but I'm only going to tell you is Aaron won something. I won something, and you know what it is. I've like, only started winning things since we've started doing this. <laughs> so I was telling her that it's rubbing. It's her. her I like, rub my uh, her little lucky star yeah. up there is rubbing off on me. Yeah. And, I, and, and I'm a lucky person, but I'm told that I can give luck you to people. You are lucky. You have like horseshoes up your butt. And sometimes. Most when I really want time. something, that's yeah. when it happens. If I'm just like, eh, then it doesn't really happen. Yeah? Yeah. I just always assume I'm not going to win, so I just, I guess I don't put those things up there. Just, yeah, when you really want something, and it's like it sits there going, I want that, I want that, I want yeah. that. Somehow it just works. Yeah. This one, I guess it might have been meant to be, because, um, so if you follow, I don't follow everybody on Instagram like you do. But I do follow. I do follow. She's like indie dyers. She follows. She follows everybody. Um, I do follow Paula, and she posted a customer appreciation giveaway. Yeah. So the only rules were that you had to be a customer either in the past or like if you went and you bought something then that would count. Okay. But also past orders counted, and all you had to do was like email her through Etsy your um, Instagram name. Oh, okay. So that she could cool. um, like match them. Yeah. And then she just somehow assigned numbers to everybody and blah blah blah. And she picked three people to win a skate of yarn, mm -hmm. and I was one of them. I was so excited when it, I saw her name. I know, I was excited too. And it was perfect timing because this was, I guess, what, this past week, right? Yeah, it was. Ago. Yeah, exactly. And the Kitchener show was like, what, two weeks ago? Or this Saturday, week, two weeks ago? Yeah. I think. Two weeks ago. And yeah. the night before the show, I was staying where I was staying, and it was like one in the morning, and I couldn't sleep. So I was scrolling through Instagram. And I saw that she posted a new colorway. Oh, nice. And I saw it and I was like, oh, 
and I posted, I was like, I need that colorway. But <laughs> I was on my phone and I don't like buying things on my phone. So I was just like, I'll just leave it. I'll see how the show goes. And maybe if I don't buy a lot, I'll get that skate. Right. Well, I didn't end up getting it right away. And so that's the one I asked for. Very so nice. When that oh, I can't wait to see it. It's so pretty. Excellent. Yeah. So is is it as good as your, um, um, oh my God. Is it Sonia? No. Sonia? Yeah. Is Sonia. it Sonia? Woohoo, I got it right. Yeah, yeah. Is it as good as her colorway from Total Inked? Well, it's, it's a different, it's different, it's just oh, different okay. colors. Okay. It's just pretty. It just well, it struck me. You said that's the perfect colorway that you'd be on a desert Flutter island. Flutter is so. still my desert island yes. color. Okay. But this color, when you see it, it's still a very pretty color. Excellent. I can't wait to see it. Yeah. So that's coming. Great. And then that will be that. So that was my only yarn purchase. And then I've done a, I did, <laughs> you have like the guiltiest look <laughs> on your face. <laughs> Um, I made a pattern purchase, so um, over the past couple months, not so much over the summer because it ended in uh, June, I think, but um, in the, the winter and the spring, mm -hmm. I was doing the Child for All Seasons cow, and their next season is starting in November. Oh, good. And today, they released the pre-order. Oh, nice. I was on that so fast. <laughs> <laughs> so I ordered it, and there was um, a coupon code for the people who bought last year. Oh, so that's I very nice. Discount. And it's starting in November, and they've made all these changes that are awesome. Like now the sizes go up to 12 years old. Oh, good. And their sponsors this year are really good. One of them is Miss Babs. Very nice. Um, you get bonus them. entries if you use the yarn from the sponsors. Right. The prizes are already listed in the group. They're amazing. Excellent. So I cannot wait for this to start. Oh, I can't wait so to see what you knit up for yeah, that. I'm going to try and knit something for every season. Excellent. And if you knit for children at all, so basically from baby up to 12 years, I would check this out, check out this cow because Definitely. it's not a mystery. It's worth it. um, you do get a hint that tells you what weight of yarn and what kind of colors mm -hmm. you need, but you, the, the pattern, the whole pattern is revealed on the day. Mm -hmm. no one Don't mind the birds. Those are the birds in the background. Don't worry. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's an awesome cow. They do a really good job putting it together. So it's the child for all seasons and they have a group with all the information in it. Excellent. Yeah. Sounds so like I fun. I would recommend checking that out. So those were my purchases. Woohoo! I was expecting more, so that's actually good. That's very good. We weren't supposed to be buying anything else until October now. And yeah. I'm trying to hold off, so I'm waiting. I, I have mystery boxes coming. I know. But, they but that count. doesn't count. They don't. <laughs> <laughs> that really doesn't count. No. Because they're a mystery. We don't, it's not like you pick something that you I know need, that's I need to see what the next one is after Black Beauty. I forgot to do that. Okay, so so yeah. we're on to um, we're on to our Diamonds are Rose Best Friend? No, we no, Diamonds are the Rough. Diamonds are Rough. I'm sorry. Rough oh, Diamonds. No. Whips. You first, me no, first. No, you're first. I got two? Yeah. I'm okay, go so I'll show the one that you've seen before. And it's been a little while because I kind of put this one in a timeout. Um, Uh-oh. <laughs> but it's all good now. It's back and I'm happy about it and it's all good. So um, I was working on um, Carolyn, um, Next Beautiful Thing, her Gigi sock. She was having a Gigi sock along and that's ended and like usual, I did not finish, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, but I had finished one sock and I had done um, a slight modification to the pattern where I didn't do the patterning all the way around the leg. Right. I only did it on the front. And because of the gauge difference between the, the stitch pattern on the front and the stocking it on the back, the back was a little poochy. It was slouchy. It was slouchy, but the front wasn't. It wasn't, a, no, the back like it was slouchy more than the front yeah. was because yeah. it was, the, the, the pattern the, was pulling the roll it together. Gauge was yeah. different. And when I tried it on, it wasn't too bad. So I was like, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. But you know, when she said it's fine, it's when not you fine. keep telling yourself <laughs> that it's fine, it's not fine. Right. It's like, what did they say? If like, if your wife says it's, I'm fine. Yeah. They're not fine. It's, yeah. Or that, or don't worry. Or no, there's nothing wrong. It's yeah, the, there's nothing wrong. There's something wrong. Yeah. <laughs> so I kept, I was like, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. And I put it away, but I never, st I, I wouldn't, I didn't start the second sock. Okay. Right? That's okay. And usually I do though. Right? I know, right away. She does. Usually I do right away and I didn't start the second sock and I just didn't want to work on it because I guess I just didn't know what I wanted to do with it. I understand. And I was like, okay, I don't really want to do the same thing I did on the first sock, but I don't want to give my brother one pattern sock and one plain sock, even though I don't think he'd care. <laughs> I was like, well, maybe I can do the patterning up the foot and just do the leg plain. I was like, I don't think he'd care, but I, was no, like, I don't, don't want to do that. Care. I'm like, I just, so I was going back and forth in my brain what I wanted to do. And finally I decided, okay. I'm just going to rip out the leg. Mm -hmm. um, so I ripped it out to the heel. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry, she's talking yeah, to her. herself. She's so cute. She talks to herself all the time. It's okay, there's nothing wrong with that. I tried to bring quiet toys for her this week. And um, she has this little dollhouse and she can just play for hours and yeah, making good, up then. stories and stuff. So that's what she's doing. Yeah. Um, I've totally turned her out because I'm good at I, that. I don't. I can hear her. So yeah. <laughs> I don't hear her. Um, 
So I ripped it out to the heel. Okay. And I continued the pattern up a little bit. But then my plan was, and I think this worked, is I started um, tapering the pattern at the front. Oh, very cool. So the, the pattern rows went right across the sock. And then what I did is like on the next row, I, I moved in five stitches this way and five stitches this oh, way. Oh, nice. And did the pattern. And then the next time I did that, I went in another five stitches um, just to kind of yeah. um, taper it mm -hmm. out. And then eventually the leg was stocking it all around. Very nice. And I think it helped it because you saw it and it's not as poochy. Yeah, no, I think it looks great. So this is what it looks like. In case you're like, I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> visuals. Yeah, visuals. Visuals. People. I don't you know see if that? you're going to be able to see it. Okay, I'm going to put it right there. I'm going to try not to move it. So like it goes right here and then it goes up in the middle there. So yeah. it, it goes like in a triangle? It peaks kind of a little bit. bit. And then the yeah. top is... It looks really pretty. I think you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. My little it looks really pretty. Um, and then the top, the very top is all stocking knit, and then the back is all stocking knit. Mm -hmm. And last time when I had it all the way, this was very like... It was very scratchy. It was very back. poochy. And now it's not as poochy. I think and I'm happy great. with it. And I ended up actually doing it longer because I think I made the sock really short because I just kind of was like, I want to be done with you. Um, so when I ripped it out, I knit up, I, I knit as far as that yarn ran out. Oh good. And I rejoined new yarn and did um, a cup. So it's a little longer than That's okay. I did last time, which is good because, you know, guys, That's fine. I can tend to like more. Yeah, especially because when they sit, their pants would pull up higher too. And then here's the second one. So I cast on the second one. See, so that means she's happy with the first one if that she's cast I'm on the second one. Yeah. <laughs> and she should be now. done because I'm, the pattern is very easy. Yeah. And it's very mindless. I was doing this at the park before we came here. And it's very easy just to, yeah. like you don't need to refer to it. So it's a good pattern and I like it and I'm happy with, now I have to say these changes were not because the pattern was not good. Um, the original pattern had you doing these, these, these stitches all the way around, right. so it would have been fine. But I opted to change that. Erin likes so to do something different. I have to be different and so it was my changes that yep. made the back poochy, not the pattern. No. Just put no. that out there. Yeah. And her changes were the ones who she designed that front of it too, using yeah. the pattern, but just yeah, it's her using own style. the pattern stitches and just as a way to try and not have yeah. the back. As, it's just her own style. Yeah. She just I just didn't want to do it all the way around. There's nothing wrong with it. It looks yeah. great. I think I'm it happy looks with nice. it. And he's your brother's gonna be happy with it. Oh, he won't care. He, he probably won't honestly, even notice. Honestly, if I had given him pattern. one pattern sock and one plain sock, he wouldn't notice. He wouldn't care. It would just be the color that he'd probably see. Yeah. That would be it. He yeah. wouldn't yeah. care. He'd been like, thanks for the socks. Yeah. They just like getting socks. So, anything else you're working on? Maybe. Oh, she's got something else. Am I allowed to see it? You haven't seen this yet. Oh, something new. So I like something remember new. Remember last time you were like, what's that over there that you've got? Right. Right? And I was like, oh, I'm thinking of starting it. I did. Oh, she did. I don't even know what it is. I'm so I don't know what she's knitting up. Foot back. Oh, it's a sock. That I know. She's pulling out her sock or her foot again. It's a sock. <laughs> My severed foot. It's okay. It doesn't look that bad. So Some people I use like those rubber Halloween foots. Have you seen this? Yeah, yeah, I think, um, is it Christina? I think it's those? Christina, yeah. yeah, Christina and Amanda. Mine's a little Diamond. more decorative. Yeah. So, so this was uh, your your sock blank. Yeah, that I showed this last really time. It's my sock blank that I did for the show. And, and again, that green's not I noticed that it's a little shorter than, it's a, Other little, side. <laughs> it's a little shorter than it was last week. Yeah, it looks nice. Um, and yes, this is not Kermit. This is more of a, a tealy Emerald. Right. Yeah. It, it, yeah, it's it comes out very Kermity, but it's so not. It's my gorgeous. intention with doing she finished one too. My intention with doing a sock with these sock things. It's crazy to me while this is very awkward. Was to do a show sample, That's and now awesome. that I'm done one, I don't think I want to use it as a show sample. Why? Because you like, love them. I like them. <gasps> she loves them. That means she's gonna wear them for and herself. I knit them to mm -hmm. to fit myself, and I really like it. So I'm gonna show it all the way up first. So this is just a plain awesome. sock. That's okay. It, it's, it went so it's fast. I think I started it. So we recorded on the Tuesday. I think I started it the next day, Wednesday. Okay. By Saturday, the first sock was done. Wow, that's really quick. Um, it is. Yeah. See, so technically, she can do a, like a, a vanilla sock in two weeks if she really wanted to. Like a pair. I could probably do a pair in a week if a that's all I for sure. So this oh, is my sock. Look how beautiful this is. So you can see because I dyed it in stripes, it's knitting up in stripes. It's knitting up in wide stripes. Yeah, look um, how beautiful And I was is. able to do it so that, and I didn't have to do oh, a lot of juggling it. to get it, the heel to be speckled and all that. That's just kind of how it lined yeah. up. Um, and then to start the next one, all I had to do was pull off a little bit of the, just down here, a little bit. So, oh, I haven't done it. So I've just ended the cuff here. Yeah. I'm going to pull some of the yarn to get to about here. And then I'm going to start and they should match. Wow. Yeah, perfect. so I should have matching socks. 
relatively look, give me a soft point. Roll it cup down. That's so that's what I did. Look how cute they are. Because I don't like tall socks because my legs get wide very quickly and I find tall socks just are not comfortable. Um, but I wanted to use more yarn, like I didn't want to end right, it short. I so I did a really long ribbed cuff with the intention of rolling it down. I think it's so pretty that yeah. way. But so that way you can wear it two ways, and it shows people they can wear it yeah. both ways too. So if you want to wear more summer, like with a pair of sneakers, because that's like more, it's just it's not like those short short anklets. No, it's not an anklet. Uh, it's just, and you can wear those. And, and this will stay up because it's ripped and full. Yeah. yeah. So I think those are gonna be really comfortable. So pretty. I love them. So I'm thinking of finishing the pair and just like taking a picture. <laughs> But there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah. Like you can totally do that, and you can have a picture beside your yarn. Yeah. And why not? Yeah, that's perfect. Love them. I love the colors. I like the colors too. Yeah, so I'm very, very nice. nice. So now that I've shown this, now I can get. Um, well, I might finish the so other ones first and then get back to. Now me. she needs to cast on the second one. I do need to cast on the second. Wait, wait. Are you telling me from Saturday to today you haven't cast on the second no. sock yet? That's not a good thing. Because I had to rip out the other one. Right away. I had to rip out the yeah. other one, um, and start that. And then we were supposed to be recording on Saturday. And yes. someone was like, hey, I'm sorry. hey, you want to do it on Wednesday? I'm like, that's three days less of time <laughs> that sorry. I was planning on. So I had to get that other sock. I wanted to get that done. So. My work's sending me for courses, and um, it's a week and a half course. <laughs> Actually, it's two courses over a week and a half from like 9 a.m. to like 2 a.m. Um, oh, yeah, it can, go, it can go till anywhere from like 11, 12, 1, 2 a.m. It can go for every day. And... I'm brain dead in those courses by the time I've done them. Just because there's so much information and it's like brain overload. Plus, I'm not the morning person and they want me up early. She's not a morning <laughs> I'm like, you want me up early, then you want me learning something. Yeah, no, she's not a morning and person. And I'm like, seriously, by the time I actually wake up, is it probably about 11, 12? Yeah. Not, no, not like wake up, like get out of bed, but like. You, by the you time get up I'm, around 10 ish. I'm up at 9 30. I'm starting work at 10 o'clock. Yeah. And, and usually that's my day is 10 o'clock. So 10 to 5, I technically work. But by the time I get into the groove and the mood and stuff, it's about 11 ish. And that's usually when my brain's fully functioning and I'm good to go. <laughs> and yeah, so it'll be fun. But yeah. So, so that's why we're recording on? early and I'm sorry. So I'm working on... You, she's got actually quite a bit done on this. Yeah. This is my hedgehog along. Look how big that is. Why do I just realize so how big that is? It's going to block out massive. Look at that. So the last time um, I showed you guys, I was here. Mm -hmm. And Where? now, oh my God. right there. And you have to realize yeah. that this is all the way around. Yeah. Like... A thousand stitches. I just don't want to lose my stitches because where's my other? Are we having a moment? Oh, we're having a moment. Oh my god! All my stitches just came out. It's like, oh, cut, cut. cut. <laughs> okay. Getting emergency. <laughs> so um, I can't believe that just fell out. Anyways, okay, so we're gonna handle it very gently. I will put them away later, but and it doesn't matter. Put them back on. Um. Wow, okay. <laughs> Too many Hard stitches time. that is. <laughs> and because it's lace weight, yeah. thank God it's just knitting just don't, stitches. Don't so okay. it too much, though. It's all over here. I have it I have it over here. So yeah, so this is all lace weight. It's hedgehog fibers. I'm loving it. It's for the hedgehog along that we're doing our cal. Um, and honestly, I'm loving it. I'm just hoping I'll have it done in time. So we'll see. Well you might because we've decided to do something. Yes. And so I'm hoping I'll still have it done in time for that. <laughs> Me too, because I didn't get any work on my mitts because we only had a week. Yeah, and she's been in the shower. She finished other stuff, stuff and started other stuff, stuff too. So yeah, so we decided for the Hedgehog Along Cal that we're going to extend it. Just a little bit. Yeah. Until October 16th? About. So Sorry. October 16th is there the too. Woodstock Festival. Yeah. And we are planning on going. Yeah. And we're thinking we're going to record that weekend. <laughs> I just want to cry. <laughs> so we're thinking we're going to record that weekend after the, after the festival. So the hedgehog along will run until then yes and then we'll we'll close it so i'll give it time for a few more people to find out about it you have to post about it on instagram i have the prize for it yeah do you want to show the prize yeah. today okay I how about i talk about the prize while you deal with your yeah i'm picking up things. stitches right now and i'm still gonna have to edit, like fix them because i'm just trying to put them all back on the needles well so when you go to knit them you can switch them oh yeah it's not even switching them some of them the like the stitch came out like it's a you know a stitch below oh you have to pick it but you can do that after too that's fine i just want to okay. pick it up so it's not like four million stitches below so i have the prize ready for the hedgehog along i haven't seen it yet no nope, no i've seen some of it i lie you've seen i've one. seen like one or two you've things yeah i think that's it so uh, i made this today because she was like let's record and i was like ah, i don't have a prize <laughs> but you knew that we were recording i know today. but not like i know but i had other stuff I she just leaves things for last minute 
I had other stuff to do. This has been a busy week. I told you our washer dryer broke, and I've been yes. running around all over the place oh. trying to compare prices. Did you find one? No. Okay. Because now Dennis is like, oh, or we can get a discount through my work if we know the ser you know, blah. anyway. I just wanted to oh, go out and buy good. one. Just go out buy one so I can wash my clothes, please. Anyway. Yes, seriously. So I've had other things that I've been worrying about. So I did this today. So I did tell you that it was going to be a hedgehog themed package. Yes. And I got some fabric. So you ready? I'm, I'm ready. <gasps> that is so cute. Okay, so again, it is not emerald. Your camera does not like this green. No, I don't know <laughs> It why. is more of a tealy green, not a frog green. Let's try and Yeah, it's it. a tealy green, but that's so green. pretty. Has little mushrooms it has and little mushrooms hedgehogs. and little hedgies. And I did my medium drawstring bag, so it's got the little, it's got the little clasp here that you can put your stitch markers on, or I can show you nice. what I've done with mine. So this is the small one that I use for my sock knitting. And I've attached all kinds of little doodads on here. Um, for stuff that I need when I do my socks. So you can attach whatever you like to this. It's a drawstring bag with a locking clasp. It's got a handle, wrist handle. Very there. nice. And it's got, yeah, so lots of room. This is my medium size. So I did that. And then to go along with this, okay. I think this is supposed to be a monkey, <laughs> but I think if you like squint your eyes and like blurry vision, <laughs> It could pass funny. as a weird little hedgehog. So I found this little tape measure. From here, it could look like a hedgehog from the distance. See, it yes. can look like a hedgehog, but yes. I think it's supposed to be a monkey. That's so okay. We're calling it a hedgehog. It's Yeah, just pretend it's a hedgehog. Yeah. Okay. So it's actually a really nice measuring tape with like the, more the fabric. Oh, nice. So, Very so nice. Hedge, hedgehog uh, measuring tape. And Stitches then, are picked up. Good. A little mm -hmm. notebook that's woodland themed. How cute is that? And that's the one I saw. Yeah. Isn't that so cute? We picked cute? this up on our yarn crawl. Yeah. And there may or may not be one other thing. I don't know, but that's the main prize. That's the main component for the prize. For the hedgehog one. Lucky person who's going to win that. Yeah. And all you have to do is complete something with hedgehog yarn. Yes. Um, by until October 16th. By October 16th, there's a thread <laughs> in our group. Um, yes. So it can be a whip. It can already be started. You just have to finish it in that right. time. And you got to post a picture in the group and yeah. be a member of our group. Yeah. And just post a picture yeah. and then, yeah. For sure. Excellent. And um, yeah, I'm working on mitts, but I don't have them. I, I will get a picture of my stuff on, on Instagram so people can see my progress. And, and I'll put a picture of this one. Excellent. I can't wait. Okay. okay. So that's all I have that I'm working on. Okay. <laughs> and it's that's, like, that's so much to work on, let me tell you. Yeah. It seems to me. Like, you don't even know how many stitches it is right it's, now, right? No, it's, it's probably about 450 plus stitches, and it's going to well, be. Well, you said you cast on 400. Yeah, and then I added, I, yeah. you increased. You add yeah. And so I'm thinking maybe 450 could be more. Could and be then more. now my row that I'm actually, I fixed this. <laughs> um, my actually I'm increasing again. Okay. Am I increasing? I bet you're like over 500, but anyway. I think, no, I'm not increasing right now. No, I'm just doing yarn overs and stuff okay. like that. I'm not increasing. Okay. So yeah, but okay. probably close to, it's just enough. It takes me. And it's lace sweet yarn. Yeah. It takes me about when I watch TV, like half an hour or something. A and row she's not a fast editor. <laughs> no, I'm very slow. So I'm very pleased because I'm at row. Yeah, I'm you're starting doing really row 50, good. 52 I'm starting and there's 80 five or six rows and yeah. then cast on or bind up. You're doing really well with that. So I'm, I'm, I'm hoping now, now this is where it comes the trouble because the next week and a half, you're gonna be even, really though I go, yeah, even though I go to these courses, sometimes they don't let me knit because mm -hmm. they think I'm being distracted, which is not. You need to pull up some studies that show that it helps you focus and be like, well, <laughs> no, because what they do is they turn around and say, well, oh, if you've lost concentration, it's because you didn't understand a word that I said, and then you should have raised your hand and said, well, what does that mean? Because mm -hmm. every time he says that you don't understand a word is where you actually lose your attention span. I'm like, I just lose my attention span because you're talking in my ear mm -hmm. all day long. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah. So we'll see. We'll see how much this gets done. Yeah. yeah. I think the extra two weeks will help. I think so too. But that means I might not have something finished for September. I won't have anything finished mm -hmm. for September unless right now I stop doing this and I cast on something okay, quick, like short, and sweet. And well, how long would it take you to do a hat? Like a week or and a half or something. So you could do that. You could stop this. Do I something know. Really quick. I know. I just gotta figure something out to do. Or technically, you could do that thing there because I'm gonna allow whips. Oh, oh, but then you'll be finishing it before October first, won't you? Right, because I need to play that in September. I'm trying to figure out a workaround for you here. I know you are. I appreciate okay, it. Okay, so you, we'll need, figure something you need to just like make a hexi puff. What the hell do you do with a hexi puff? Nothing, but it's a finished object. Oh, or do a jar cozy or something. Oh, I could do that. 
I could do like a for my tea cozy or yeah. something. Yeah. I could do a tea cozy. Or, or you know they ha they make those um tea wallets, those little pouches to put tea bags in so they don't get like all crumpled and gross in your purse. Oh right, but I don't carry tea. So well, I'm just, mean, but I'm that's just, cute though. It's cute because someone. you know what? It could be a it could be a gift to give to someone with maybe that. Yeah. Does she drink tea? Yes. There you go. Yeah. So, so I do the tea. Okay. 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 Thank you. See, we There's always something. Yeah, we saw that with yeah. involving you. Enough. Yeah. Thank you guys. That was great help. Yeah. Okay, so um, I'm sorry about the birds. I have my phone open because we have to do random number generator later. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's in front of me too. Yeah, and um, I tried to turn the sound down, but that's okay. My my notifications is broken. Oh, so. it's messages. Oh, you're locked. I was gonna go back to the thing. Don't worry about it. Okay. That's okay. So let's go with the next thing is FOs. Do you have an FO? Diamonds are forever. No, I don't have an FO today. Do I have an FO? I'm sure you do have an FO because usually you always have at least one. Think. Except there was like the odd time where we don't. Over the summer, I didn't because we were busy. We were so busy. But now the show's done. So I have That's right. She has more time. So, to it. are you ready to see what I finished? I am. I am. I'm excited. I'm super excited. Are you ready to hold the corner? Yes. Oh, I'm very excited now. Ready? Ready? And look at that. Okay, ready? Let's go okay, across this way. Look how pretty. Look at that. So I finished my I can travel. See us, but that's awesome. That turned out beautiful. By Lisa Much. Look this was that. for our Lisa Long that I did not complete in time. That's okay. It turned but, out yeah, beautiful. Very I'm very happy with it. I love it. I love the colors. Good choice. You did a really nice I choice like with these that. colors. Yeah, they look beautiful together. Yeah. Very nice. I can't wait to actually see you wear it. <sighs> that was a key word there because I'm the same way, so don't so, worry. <laughs> to take the pictures for my project page, I was playing around with it. Yeah. And I can't figure it out. <laughs> I just, I can't do shells. I can't do shells. So it's not quite big enough to do the thing that did we you, were hoping that we could do. Did you block this or is I this? I did block it. Oh, okay. Oh, and I'm just going to mention. So for blocking, I've, I've seen on a few podcasts lately, I think Little Bobbins was the most recent one, that instead of pinning it out to block, right. they're blocking it on like a clothesline. Oh, so they're just kind of hanging So it? that's what I did and it worked so the perfectly. Weight drape, the because weight when weight. I finished this, this was, this edge here was so tight. This was actually like a little pooch. Oh. And I was like, there's no way that's going to block out. But right. I wet it. I didn't soak it. I just scrunched it under water right. to get it wet. And I went out. I have a clothesline um, off our deck where I, I can hang things. And I all I did was I started in the middle. And you, the just middle. Like, you just pinned it up. And I put a pin. And then, like here, I stretched it and I put another pin. And then I put another pin. And then I put another pin. I have a picture on my project page. Nice. And then I just let the weight nicely. block From this the part. wet. Yeah. Yeah. I just let, and it blocked. Perfect. I have to say it's perfect. Like, it was perfect. I, yeah. And I, it it's was really the, nice. the effort was really, really minimal. That's good. So if you have a shawl where you don't have to pin out like picots or anything, yeah. um, so that method works really, really well. Sorry, I was just looking how you open your ends because it's color work. And oh my God, it's amazing. I'm an <laughs> ends ninja. She is. No wonder she does all my weaving. I just, I, I enjoy doing ends. Can, can I show this public? really? Yeah. Look how beautiful that is. If you guys can see this, let me turn it upside down here. Okay. Look at, I don't know if you can see all those ends woven in, but like you can't even see them. That's the whole best part about that. Like right there. You can't see that. You can't see that. You can't see that one either. It just looks like yarn. Like it just looks like the color of the yarn. It's beautiful. So technically, I mean, you know, it's, like you don't you even can totally it. see the ends. No, oh that blue one there yeah. sticking out. Just that blue, yeah. But you, if you snipped it, you'd be fine. But you don't see. It's not like huge bubble no, or anything like bubbles. that. It's not like, God, have you seen some of my ends woven in? When you have you ever woven in an end? Tell. Oh, I, I have in the past, but not anymore since you do them. Because you do them so much better. You have projects oh from God. like before we even met that still have their ends not woven in. You know, I'm thinking to take some shawls with me when we, yeah. when we go because it gets colder. They like the room freezing. Is that like a hint that you want me to weave it in? No, I think you rip them into all my ends. Okay. I just never blocked any of them, okay. so they're just going the way they are. Okay, so we were talking about wearing this. And oh, this I think it's awesome. I think you'll be able to wear it. Uh, I know, but I was playing around with it. I was trying because Lisa, much on her pattern page, has all these different ways she's yes. wearing it. I was like, oh, this is awesome. Now, it might be that this turned out a little smaller. I don't know. But the way that we were talking about wearing it kind of over our shoulder and draped, it doesn't really work that way. So I think what I'm going to either do is like where she has it, she kind of does it like a scarf. Yeah. Um, and you can like double it. And, yeah. And, and I would do that. I would wear it like that. So she kind of does like this. That's pretty. And I would wear it like this under my coat. Yeah. And it I gives like you that. nice warmth. Yeah. I would do this. And then she, I've also tried it where um, I and just And if it's longer, it will just hang longer, which is nice. 
the bib type thing and I was like okay with the bib yeah, type thing. Yeah, but this bib type thing is better because it's rounded. Yeah, right? it was better so, than the, the, the cowboy. See, like purchase. to me it looks prettier when it's all rounded like that. Yeah. And you can tuck your ends in underneath or you can tie them underneath. Yeah, so I would wear it like yeah. this under a coat, but I wouldn't, it's, see, I, I, wouldn't, so I wouldn't wear it the way that we were hoping to wear it like, more decoratively. I think I need a bigger crescent. Yeah. I need to go bigger with the crescent shape. <laughs> so, um, go bigger, go home. Was actually, um, so before the Kitchener show, you know Jackie from um, Graphic Stitches? Yes. So she gifted me a pattern. Oh, very nice. And it's a crescent shaped shawl. Very nice. And I think it's bigger. Very nice. So I'm thinking that might be my next shawl. Excellent. And then I'll try the little... I think that'll be nice. Yeah. And then to wrap it around like the... And it's actually very similar to this. It has these little sh short row like oh, how pretty. bubbles and stuff in it. So Actually, she gifted me um, Zuzu petals. Oh, did she? Yeah. And the pattern's been in my queue and that's been really nice. Yeah. And Yeah, that was really sweet of her. I have a, yeah. I just like looking like at this. That. I'm just going to fill the screen. It's so pretty. My knitting. Look at that. Looks amazing. This is a really good pattern. It was really fun to knit. Actually, I, I love Lisa Much pattern. Yeah, I'm not I a do. shawl knitter, and this was so intuitive. It was just so easy to pick, pick up yeah. and put down. Um, and it was all, it was, it was a really good pattern. She does. She did, really, yeah. or she designs really nice patterns. I bought one of her new ones. I know but did. that was the one I was eyeing. Though. I know. You've been eyeing it for months. Oh my gosh. She had, we were at, when we were at her shop, she had it there. Yeah. And, I was just waiting and waiting. So I still got to purchase yarn for that. Yeah. But I don't know. And I just missed an update, but I was like, I'm just going to message her because I want to know, I don't know what color. I want her to give me some suggestions of mm -hmm. what she thinks that's more in my color realm because she did in that metal. Mil, mil, the that's what. Yeah, that one. Metal that I can't pronounce or something. Yeah, metal, it's very copper. It's like metal colors. Copper, it's like silver, and copper, silver, and, and like platinum and or something and gold. Yeah. yeah. So it's not my color. Yeah. Like I could wear it, but it's not what I love. I think love. if it was more like the, the gold, like... Not so much the coppers, like right. if it was more the silvers and the charcoals and the yeah. stuff, you could do that, but not with the gold. But I wanted, I wanted to maybe add like a pop of color in there mm -hmm. or something for me or something that, you know, I don't know. Yeah. She'll do something. I know she's so very talented, so I'm so not So for worried. our next cow, you're going to be making like 10 things. No, not 10. <laughs> no, not 10. No, no, no. I won't have time to do 10, but I'll be making quite a few, I'm yeah. hoping. I yeah. think you will be. Yeah. Is I'm that what we're so. going to talk about next? Yeah, so you can talk about this next. We're going to talk about our next cow. Yeah. Yeah. So we are going to do, so as we said before, the Hedgehog Along has been extended to about mid-October. Um, but we are going to start the next set of cows. So there's going to be one in my group and one in the, uh, so one in the Bling Your String group. Yeah. One in the Knitting at Tiffany's group. Yeah. And they're going to kind of, like, partner, mm -hmm. but they're opposite because right. we find we're very opposite with our knitting. That's right? true. We're very opposite. Um so in the knitting at Tiffany's group, it's good. now it's yet to be named, but the idea is that it's going to be a selfish knit along. Right, because I know so, for me. Yeah, she is. She only knits for her pretty much. And yes. um, a lot of podcasts and groups now, because we're entering into the holiday season, are doing That's like right. gift cows or gift like knit alongs. Mm -hmm. um, so in her group, it's going to be a selfish one. Yes. So it's knitting it stuff for yourself. That's if right. If you're knitting it for yourself, it counts. Hey, everybody deserves a gift. I, I buy myself a, well, it's not Christmas, but I buy myself a Hanukkah gift, Christmas gift. Yeah. I call it a Christmas gift. Yeah. yeah. And I buy myself a birthday gift, so why not? Yeah. Right. So it's gift for yourself. Perfect. It's in Tiff the yes. at Tiffany's group. At Tiffany's group. And then every year in the Bling Your String group from October to December, I always do a gift knit along mm -hmm. where you're getting your gifts done for the holiday season. Um, so that's what's going to be in my group. And there's going to be a prize in my group and a prize in your group. That's right. And we'll figure that out. Mm -hmm. um, but just to give you the details now, that's what's going to go on. Yep. So you can start thinking. Now, in my group, for the gift one, whips will be allowed. Okay. So if you have gifts that you've already started for people and they're not done yet, mm -hmm. you can finish them for the gift cow in the Blinger Steering group. Um, for the selfish cow, it will be new projects only. Oh, only new projects. Yeah. Because you'll be starting them for you, yourself, and you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it's from October 1st till December 31st. Yeah. And we'll, we'll put all the details, as of October 1st, we'll put all the details in each of the groups. Yeah, they'll be so both groups. So start against. thinking. Yeah, figure out your patterns, you your yarns, do. look into your stash. You, and then we're each participating in each of yes. each group. So she had to think of a gift that she was going to knit. So um, I showed you guys last time, I purchased this gorgeous Malabrigo yarn. And I haven't found the pattern yet for it. Mm -hmm. But That's it's going to be a cowl mm -hmm. for um, the girl at my bank. Cause she's super sweet to me and she's very knit worthy. 
It's a oh, beautiful color. Stuff. But it's gorgeous color. For a red? I mean, red's not my favorite color, and I know you don't really... No, oh, but this is really it's pretty, because really it's, it's like a wine red. Yeah. Like and there's a, pink tones yeah. into it. It's really pretty. I really like it. So, I'm it's excited. It's like garnet. It's called... Um, Caracol? No, that's charcoal. No, that can't be the right name. It's this. Oh, Cereza. Cereza? No. It's okay. Cereza. Like, like a cherry, maybe. It's, it's awesome. It's not that cherry. It's like a dark cherry. It's like a dark red. Oh, some of them are, yes. Yeah. It's really nice. So that's going to be one. Okay. So that's for her group because so that's it. That's the gift yeah. gift in my group. And then for the selfish knit. And then for the selfish knit, I'm so excited. Yeah. Remember this one? This one we got on our yarn curl. Yeah, on our birthday. Is, yeah. And yeah. this is the Manostel Uruguay. And I love it. Yeah. And this is going to be um, knit night. Knit night. Yep, I have a pattern for this because that's what I bought this for was that pattern. I saw it knit up and I fell in love with it. So I'm so yeah. excited. The sample in the store so was excited. Knit Night. Yeah. And you're going to knit that. And I am actually going to, I've been planning to knit Knit Night too. Isn't that and I've been planning to make it with one of my hand spun skeins. Remember that big fat yarn baby I did? Yes. With all the different colors? Yes. And so, and this was before she found this. So now we're both going to be doing Knit Nights. I think that's awesome. So I'm going to do the Knit Night for the selfish part. And... I've got loads of stuff on my list for the gift part. Of course she does. Because um, November is my birthday. I knit for people. And my oh. Molly socks need to be done in November. Last year I gave you your birthday. socks after December. I know. But I always get everything late. So I should yes. know this by now. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah. So those may be on the list. We'll see. We'll see. We'll but see. yeah, I'm super excited to knit this yeah. up. This That's is gonna this really is going to be super awesome. And because I can't wait to have that peach kind of disappear. Yeah, into the... you totally couldn't see the peach in the sample. Yeah, it didn't really pop out when you actually knit it up, which was I don't really think you cool. would have bought this had you not seen that sample. Yeah, but my hedgehog has a bit of peach in it too. And really, with the colors, you don't really notice it as much. Here you see it, but when it knits up in some things, you don't. Things, see you it. don't. Yeah. yeah. And then I got fiber stuck to my lip somewhere. I can feel it. There we go. It's from the, the red. Yeah, I think it was. It's that's just like red. <laughs> So yeah, so that's what I'm doing. And okay, so those are our cows. And then you're doing so you're doing knit night, but you yeah. have other projects ready. I planned. have other projects planned. Are like, you using stash yarn? Hopefully. Okay. My well, my in versus out right now is like off the charts. <laughs> <laughs> like I sold uh, at the beginning of the year over eight thousand grams of yarn and I've isn't now crazy? now back in has like equal that. So that's okay. Yeah. Don't worry, next year, next year, year, year next check, year. Her, check her page again because she'll probably do another D stash. No, I'll probably do it next, um, wait another year because I want to use what I bought this year. Okay. But um, Two years. this coming year, I am knitting from stash. Hold me to it. Hold me to it. This upcoming year? Yes, 2017. You know she's going to buy stuff. I'm not saying I'm not, but okay. a majority I'm gonna, of it. I'm knit from stash. I'm going to try to knit from stash. All this pretty stuff that we bought this year, I mean, I got to use it. I know we have so much pretty yeah. like so much. But see, that's the problem. Some of them were so pretties. No, first of all, well, that's you. There are always new pretties, but some of them are so pretty that I don't want to knit with them because they're so pretty. I don't have a problem with that. I don't have any precious schemes that I'm really... Anyway. Precious schemes. Should we move along? So, yeah. So, so next is spinning. I'm wondering, do you think the lighting... Do you think we need like... I was going to say, is it getting... It looks like it's getting a little dark in here. So she's going to start I'm going to start with spinning. So if you're not sticking around, I will say... But oh, we will say we are drawing for the prizes that, after spinning. That's what I was about to say. Okay. <laughs> Okay. I thought you were going to do your usual. No, I was going to we'll say. see you later. Stay either fast forward because we have prizes coming up um, for the Expand Your Skills yeah. Cal. And no, 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 no. Oh, no. The Lisa Long. Oh, the Lisa Long. I'm sorry. What am I thinking about? I don't know why I went that yeah, far back. That was done. We did oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> see, I, the Lisa Long. So yeah. if, you, if you entered a project in the Lisa Long, yes. we are doing the prizes after spinning. Yes. So either fast forward if you don't want to see the spinning or, or just, just watch stay. the spinning. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just going to excuse myself because yep. I'm going to go open with some more light. And, and I'm going to talk about spinning. talk about spinning. So this is diamond cutting. Diamond cutting. Sorry. Okay. So what to talk about first. So I actually did a fair bit for myself. So considering it's only been a week, I was very happy with what I did. Um, I have two things to show. And the first is a finished skein. And last week I showed... Um, I don't know if that gives light. It's to... probably better. I think it's better. I'm looking at her face because I don't That's see That's because that. I just, it just the light changing. I think it's fine. Okay. So I showed this last time. I had a bobbin shot of my Nunico fibers and I had just a wee little bit of fiber left over. So I finished spinning it and I finished flying it and you can see a little sneaky peek right here. <laughs> um, and I did a two ply and I'm very happy with it. I don't know if they'll be able to see that because our, our... Well, we'll give you your arms. Oh, look how pretty that is. 
Yeah, because if you hold it on the side, that's where the light's coming from. So I don't know if you can see the sparklies, oh but there's God. lots of sparklies I can in there. See the sparklies. And I was aiming for a DK weight, and when I used oh, your little can. tool, yeah. <gasps> see, she used her birthday present. When I used your little tool and did the wraps per inch, yeah. it gave me 14 wraps per inch, which falls into the DK. <gasps> thing. Awesome. So it's about a DK. That's so pretty. Um, it's about 200 yards. Very nice. So hopefully it'll be enough for the prize winner to do something. Very nice. And, and it's soft. Yeah, and it's again, it was the Munico patchouli in one of their like custom blends. So pretty. That's really pretty. I hope she likes it. It still has to be soaked and like whacked and hung out to dry. This was straight off the um, Flavin. Yeah, straight off the very nice the nitty yeah. naughty thing. Same thing. Very nice. Yeah, I'm, happy I, I'm with hoping. That. I'm hoping she'll like it. It's very pretty. Very and pretty. next. And so next. last and week. Then. And then <laughs> last week. I showed the fiber that I got from Amanda from yes. um, Die Another Day podcast. Yes. And I said I'd be starting that as soon as I finished the Nunico. Well, I finished the Nunico and I started her fiber. Ooh. And so this is all I have left. This oh, wow. Little, That's awesome. That's what I have left and very pretty colors. How pretty it is. So pretty. The oranges, the yeah. sunsets, the pinks. Yeah. yeah. Do I have the oh, I Such a nice sunset Touch colorway. It. And this is the bobbin. I'm going to give it to you again because you have long okay. arms. So this is what I have done so far. So Amanda, if you're watching, this Where's is you? what your yarn is looking like so far. Like how beautiful that is. And you can pretty I much you're see liking it. all the colors there. It. Look at that. Let's turn it. And again, I'm aiming for about a DK weight because she said she wants to make a hat. Very and nice. I'm just going to show this little thing that I have that I oh got nice. on Etsy. It's so pretty. That I find so helpful when I'm trying to spin a certain weight of yarn. Okay. So the thing you got me for the wraps per inch. Right. It shows it's like the finished yarn. Right. Okay. Um, but when you're spinning, if you're deciding to do, you want to do, you know, you want to do a two ply, or you know, what you want to do a three ply. It's hard to know how fine, to, like how thick to make the singles, so that when they're combined, you get the thickness of yarn you want. Right. Right. I understand what you're saying. So a couple of years. Well, it would have been within the last two, three years, because I only started spinning like two, mm -hmm. three years ago. Um, I found these on Etsy, and I use these all the time. It's just I printed them out because it's a PDF. And um, I've laminated them with tape, and they're well used, so they're a little crumpled. But it's okay. They are basically a spinner's um, control card, and sure. there's are they all the difference? They're all different. Oh, okay. Because what it is, and I got this on Etsy call from the Electric Carnation, so I'll link that in the group. So what it does, so if I'm doing oh. singles, um, it gives you these bars. Oh my goodness! So there's these bars. And you just match your single up to the size of the bar. Right. So you just lay it across, and the size of the single is the size of the ply. Okay. So this is if you're aiming for singles, and this then there's the also ply the two ply. So if you're doing yeah. a two ply yarn, you would aim to have your um, singles, and this is giving you the singles width. So you would right. aim for your singles to match mm -hmm. whatever your finished That's goal really is. That's really cool. And then there's also a three ply one. So if you're aiming for a three ply, then um, so like the top one is bulky, so that's probably the easiest one to see. If you want to do a three, th yeah. three ply bulky, then your singles need to be the same size as that top line. And it goes from cobweb to bulky yeah. on here. And you know what? This would be good if it was done up in, in a wood thing, like how you have your gauge. Yeah, uh, or even um, that'd be awesome. not necessarily wood, but in um, you know how they do like the the plastic, um, whatever that material is. I don't know what the material like is, but a, like the plastic, how yeah. people engrave or etch on yeah. the plastic. Um, I've seen um, wraps per inch tools done in plastic, but I haven't seen any of these. And Very cool. What's nice is that I can just print out any one if I want, or I can print out lots of them if I need them. But I use these all the time. So if you are a spinner and you like to spin, um, cool. if you ever need to spin a specific width of something, like mm -hmm. you're like, I want a worsted, and you're right. not just like, oh, I'm just going to let the yarn do whatever. Right. These are very helpful. I think they're great. Yeah. What a great idea. I love these. Great idea. So I just thought I'd share that. That's because funny. that's how I got this to be a DK, which is what I want. That's a great find. And so, yeah, what I do is, because I'm using the two-ply one, when I'm, as I've been working on Amanda's yarn, um, I, I go, and then every once in a while I just stop, and I hold this up against my single right. just to make sure that I'm on track. Yeah. And that I haven't changed drastically. Because your fingers can kind of feel the thickness, and you get used to what the thickness is supposed to be like. But... Sometimes if you stop and then come back. Sorry, I didn't say anything. I know, what your, say I know what your brain's doing. I know that look. <laughs> I know that look. Anyway, um, sometimes if you stop and then come back to it, yeah. you might start spinning it thicker or spinning true. it thinner. That's and then true. the more you do that, 
you don't notice that you're doing that. Right. So yeah, every and once in a while I just stop and I compare and make sure that I'm on track. I think that's great. I think that's a great tidbit. If you guys spin, go get some of those. They're downloadable. And they're, it's they're like free. Six bucks. Oh, they're oh they're not free. They're not free. Oh, okay. Because someone has put all this information together on on a thing. Six bucks but it's six bucks and it's a download, so you don't have to ship. You don't have to. You just right. print it off. I think it's know. a great idea. For and spinners. then you can print off as many as you want. I think that's excellent. Yeah. So perfect. Um, so are we ready to do our prize draw now? Let's do our prize draw. You're gonna have to unlock your phone so we can get I'm the. Sorry, you just have to swipe it. Oh. No, there's no password. I didn't know that. Okay, <laughs> I got the um, true random okay. number generator. So we oh, had. Oh, we had lots. We had lots. We had. I'm super excited, um, really. One to forty-one. One to so let me get is 41. the numbers right that we're starting with, and do we want to start with the the big, um, the first prize that we did, and then the second prize, or like how we want to? So just to remind you, should we do this one first? Draw for this prize first. Um, we have two group members who are fighting over this one. Yes, it's too funny actually. They kept trying to make stuff just so they could get more entries, and the two of them are like combating. Okay, so so should we draw for this one first? Yeah. So there's one to forty-one. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. One to forty-one. And this is for my deluxe sidekick with the little oh, that is. doodad thing here. I love it. And a matching needle cozy and the northbound knitting. Yeah, great yarn. Great yarn. Woohoo! So one to forty-one. Yeah. Generate. Ready? Oh, lucky number three. Oh, it never, see it that? never goes to that early. Okay, so the winner is Vin Girl. V I N Girl. Vin Girl. Vin Girl. So if you're watching, nice. contact. I guess contact me because I'll have the prizes. Yeah, don't contact me. If you contact I'm her, I'm not going to be uh, online for the next week and a half, barely, rarely, okay, very that rare. And if you contact her, you're going to be waiting about four months for your prize. I'm sorry, I'm not online very often. I go to the post office way more. Oh yeah, of for my, sure. My business, for sure. Time. So contact Serafina on Ravelry. Yes. And if a couple of weeks go by and we don't hear from you, I'll tag you. I'll ear burn you. Yeah. Is that the only? We only. No, have we one? have that. Was the first prize? That was the first prize. Second prize is a screen printed tote from Lisa oh, herself. Oh, that's right, the Northbound Knitting tote bag. And really this nice. silk merino blonde yarn. Oh yes, that's the one with a bit of red on it. Yeah. I can't wait to see someone knit that. We are looking very tanned right now. I know, because I think the two lights we and, have in front of us. And the sun coming yeah. in? This is probably the most tanned I'll ever look. <laughs> I don't tan. Bella doesn't tan, yeah. yeah. I'm the tanner, not her. So, okay. ready to again. generate again? One to 41. Okay. Number 20! Okay, girl. Okay. See, it's all about the girls because the winner is Girl to Wonder. Nice! Yeah, so G Y R L Girl to the number and then Wonder. Girl Hello, to Wonder. you come back we have a, a at the perfect test. time. Did yeah. you notice? She oh was gone the whole time. <laughs> oh, and now we're looking very like ghost stories. I know, because we have the whole like. Back now. You came yeah, back now. you came back That's perfect timing. You know because why? We're gonna say goodbye. We're gonna say goodbye. And you can say goodbye to everyone. Yeah. You were a very okay. good girl. Okay, so, just wait. So, um, yes, so please message um, Erin Serafina on Ravelry and she will get you your prizes out. This is what Let her know her, um, your real name yeah, yeah, and yeah. your address and <laughs> she'll mail the prizes out to you. Yeah. Okay, so, Excellent. so congratulations so, everyone. I'm Thanks sorry. for joining the Cal. It was a I'm lot of fun. I'm sorry, Teresa. I'm sorry, and, Teresa. And Barbara. And Barbara. Yeah. 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 I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Next hey, time. Teresa won something last time. Did yeah. Barbara too? No. No. Oh, maybe but, she, no, I don't. But, but I think she's time. entering, she entered something for the hedgehog along, so maybe she'll get the hedgehog print. Is that the um, shawl she's working on? And she did some socks. Yes, they're very pretty. Yeah. Go check out that group and you'll see all the, pr the projects that are going in there already. Really nice. Really nice. Okay. Yes. So now we're done. So we're done. And so thank Hi. you guys. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you guys for um, coming back and watching us, especially when we have Avery. And yeah, um, she was very good this week. She was very good. And thank you um, to all the new viewers. We hope you return. Don't thank forget. Thank you for subscribing. Yeah, I was gonna say, don't forget to subscribe to yeah. our YouTube channel. And thank you for subscribing. And now she starts. It's okay. Yeah. This is Puppy and Doggy. Yes. This is um, the they go with her everywhere, and they are like the um, the unifier of all children. So whenever like we were at the park before this episode. Yeah. And. Every child that came, would she would give them one, oh, and really? they would play, and then they would go home, and then another child would come, and she would give them one, and they would play, like, like these toys. Oh, like, nice. Anyway. That's okay. They've come to say hello. Park, yeah. so. They've come to say hello. Yes. Okay. And now we're going to say bye. goodbye. Now we're going to say goodbye. So, thank you. Bye, until the next episode. Oh, puppy and oh. doggy dance. Okay. Puppy and doggy dance. Bye. Okay. Bye. bye. Say bye, Avery. Bye.